Yo guys, what is up? Teachers Game 2 coming at you again with another video. You may call me Teach and I am here to show you the Tropic Nathus and why it is kind of, well, I mean I talked about some of the reasons it's overpowered, but let's talk about how it does damage. And let's test all this stuff. I haven't really tested any of this yet, so you guys are going to know just as much as me. Um, what the Tropia Ignathus is really capable of. I have a whole bunch of grenades, a ton, and I'll make a ton more if I need to, but, you know, I don't think I will. I've got a whole bunch of saddles on them. I'll go ahead and put these in my inventory so you can see that the saddles work a little bit differently. Um, but if you look at them, they have actual damage components because um, they count as a weapon. So I think they'll be able to scale a lot higher. I went ahead and made a max one. 500% seems to be the maximum you can get on a Tropia Ignathus saddle. And here's the crazy thing. Because it counts as a weapon, it does do way more damage. So here's a base level one at 100%, and then you've got the 500%, and then I've got things in between just so we can test them out. We're going to go ahead and test out the base level saddle first. Now, that is one thing that is going to be... Uh, I don't even know how to say it. If you can actually get this much five times more damage, that's going to be crazy. Now, here's another thing. Their melee damage scales their overall damage with shooting the grenade. So the higher the melee damage, the more damage they do. So with these guys, I'm essentially going to turn them, when I do some PvP and stuff like that, into glass cannons. So I'm going to jack up their stamina, put this guy at like 2k. Now obviously these are a little bit boosted stats because this one's not imprinted, there's nothing special about it. People are going to get some crazy powerful versions of these, and I'm just going to crank the rest into melee. Um, and this is probably going to end up, let's put it at like 1200 just to be reasonable here. Um, and then outside of that, I guess it doesn't really matter what you put it in. I'll put it in a weight so you can gain a little bit of speed. But I can go ahead and put a whole... I mean, we're going to fire off a ton of grenades. So let's just test all this different kinds of stuff here and see how it ends up going. So the Tropi Ignathus, this guy is our little special tame here. And we're going to test all four on thatch, wood, stone, uh, metal... Uh, this right here, tech, wow, I can't think of the name. All types of turrets and then generators as well. Now, with this guy, uh, I'm pretty excited. It's going to be some fun. He's really cool, easy to fly. But before we start that, if you do not mind liking and subbing the channel, that'd be amazing for those of you that have done so already. Thank you. I do really appreciate it. I just want to bring you guys some content that I enjoy making. And if I can make one person smile at the end of the day, then heck, I've done my job. So I consider that successful. Now, anyways, let's go ahead and continue. So in order to actually activate the ability to shoot grenades, you have to hit control. Now, once you hit that control, this thing right here basically gives you the ability to just kind of boost around all over the place. If you hit his primary, he'll continue to fire. And if you shoot a grenade like that, it'll just shoot a grenade like normal. Now, with a prim saddle, everything normal. Uh, and that's my same structure. So I'm going to have to leave. That was foolish of me. Okay. So anyways, let's go ahead and land this bad boy because I have to leave the tribe. Whoops. I was kind of excited to see what it did. Creature ownership is personally owned. Structure ownership is tribe owned. Update tribe. Leave this tribe. Tribe of Teach it is. Tribe of Teach 123. All right, so we have our Tropiognathus back now, and uh, it's, it, you know, we, we have it back and working, so we'll be good now. So we have this in our enemy structures, just so you can see now, so we will see damage on it when we actually officially damage this stuff. It counts as an enemy tribe, so let's go ahead and test it out. Turn on them boosters, and uh, let's go ahead and actually make sure that I can record this. Boom, there we go. So, now that we've tested this, we're going to go ahead and boom, here we go. Alright, so 177 on that structure, and this was Prim Saddle. Looks like 177 again with the grenade, and then let's try with wood here. 177. It looks like wood, thatch are the same. 177. It's got to be a direct hit. There's no splash damage, so that's interesting. Now let's check out metal. 53. So it did 53 base damage to metal. And uh, let's try tech. 11. So it did 11 damage to that. And then just, just because I'm curious, glass, 53. So glass and metal are the same like I thought they would be. And let's go ahead and test it on the turrets. So this is a tech turret, just to see. 11 to 14 on average damage on those. Ooh, auto turrets. That was 384 that I saw. And generators, tech jennies is eight. And let's go ahead and test heavy turrets. 
253 regular generators, 263. So with just a base saddle, he's not super OP, uh, so that's something to be considering. But let's see what happens when we actually change his saddle. So we've got a 100% saddle on there. Don't really necessarily think that's going to change too much. Uh, let's go ahead and crank it up just a little bit to 176 and see what this does. And strafing run. Wood, 177. That looks the same, identical. 177 again. And then this guy was 53, so that's the same. 53, so it looks like it doesn't actually increase damage to structures. It is universal across the board. All right, so there is that. Let's go ahead and attack those. 432, so that's interesting. Okay, so it looks like they're actually pretty effective against uh, some techies, so that's not too bad. 177, okay. Let's go ahead and land. Switch out the saddles here. So this is a max saddle. This is 500% on the saddles, and uh, that's just, you know, that's that's an overpowered saddle. You probably can't even get this on most servers unless you're playing a boosted server. And let's just, just for kicks, let's see what we do here. 177. So the saddle seems to keep everything damaged the same across all of the damageable structures for this guy. So that's kind of interesting. 11... 53 and let's check turrets just because we're going to check and there's pretty normal those are pretty normal 409 oops missed so it looks like it does do splash damage to turrets so that's interesting you can destroy some uh you can definitely destroy some turrets with this guy that's certainly a possibility because grenades are pretty cheap to make let's go ahead and land you and uh, i'm gonna set the time of day so i can actually see do i have a time of day there it is. Well, all right, so let's check out the damage. So not too much, just a thousand damage, but that's not where this guy really excels anyways. Let me show you something. Now, when you actually fire on Tames, this is where it gets hilarious. He just roasts things. Uh, this is a 500% saddle, so don't forget that. That's something that should be brought into mind. Uh, 634. If you have the boost going, it doesn't actually increase damage on structures. Uh, it doesn't really increase damage on anything, but it does absolutely shred things in the sky. You do a ton more damage, 2250, you can see that right there. Uh, and the closer you get, 2250 again, you can shred things with this guy and it just blasts them out of the sky. Uh, so increased saddles do a ton of damage uh, for this flak cannon. So that's pretty neat. Let's switch to a regular. There we go. So now we've got a 100 saddle on there versus that 500 that we were rocking. Let's go ahead and show you the difference between damage that we can get here. 74. So it's a big, big difference. Um, when it comes to attacking tames, this guy is really good, but the higher level saddles obviously are quite helpful. Um, 103. Yeah. So you want those higher level saddles because this low one is not during nearly as that was a 287 I had on them. Let's put the cranker on that 500. Oh boy. All right. Let's see now. 672. Wow. That's a big difference. Okay. Gotcha. So the higher level saddle you have on these things and the increased damage actually does increase this uh, flak cannon damage to any wild tame. It just doesn't do anything to structures. So that's pretty unique in my opinion. So I don't know. Maybe that's just me that thinks that's pretty cool because, I mean, if you're doing 2,500 damage a pop close range to some of these things, you are absolutely going to shred some tames. Uh, let's see if I can find a ground tame to show you some of these ground strafing runs you can do as well. And give me something. There we go. Parasaur. That'll do. No, it's a trike. So trikes do take that decreased damage from the front hand side. Uh, but there you go. They do take increased damage from that uh, bullet as well. 301. Wow. So it kind of depends on where you smack them with this. It looks like if you hit them in the head, they take that reduced explosion damage. I'm just trying to see if I can do like a UE here and put one behind him. Nope, I can't. So it does explode on contact, so that's pretty nice. But that's something that's going to be interesting. 
All right, so just to show you when you have that speed boost coming down on something, you do... What, does that increase damage with the speed boost as well? Hmm, that's interesting. So this guy with increased saddle, increased melee, increased speed boost is a damage-dealing machine. Okay, let's see here, huh? Wyvern, what do you do? 2,200. So to air mounts, this guy does a load of damage. To ground mounts... Not so much. Does quite a bit, though. 500 is not too bad. And as long as you have that boost on, it appears that you do get that uh, that bonus for damage dealing. I don't think... Maybe it's just proximity, too. Oh, well. But you do a ton of damage with the Tropiognathus based on damage, saddle, speed, all kinds of different factors. So we'll see how it works. But uh, other than that, it looks like it doesn't really structure do damage structure too well. Uh, but it does do damage to Tames really, really well. So hope this video helps you out. And other than that, teach out.